Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've got a little effect for you today. We've got this sort of revolving image right here. It's a little blurb module with an icon. And we've got it infinitely revolving around like this. Nice little feature to have on your site. Very eye-catching. It's going to get people's attention. We've got to do a bit of coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any coding that I do, I'll put down below, and you're welcome to copy, paste it, and use it how you wish. Okay, well, let's go and undo what I've done for this. I've got my customizer open here. Here's the code that I wrote for it. Let's just delete that, and we'll publish. Now let's refresh this page, and we'll also go back to this page and refresh it. Okay, so we're back to where we were with a regular blurb module with just a static little icon there. Okay, let's enable the visual builder and we can roll down. There's our little blurb module. What I'm going to go do is go in there, dark tab for a module, green tab for a row, blue tab for a section. I'm going to go inside this module, we're going to give it a CSS class. It'll already have one, but we'll change it. That's the one I put in earlier. Let's just get rid of that. Here's where we start with the default. I'm going to call it IC Spin for Icon Spin. Obviously, you call yours what you want. It wants to be unique, and it wants to kind of mean something to you. So we've now given this a name, a CSS class, that we can target it with some CSS by. We can use that as a name to target it. So let's save this. I'm going to do this on my customizer page so sh sh just so we can see it. Anybody doesn't know how to get there, go down to your dashboard, go down to appearance and then customize and that will take you to this page. You can also put this code in on the Divi theme options page that we've got here under the general tab. Right at the bottom you'll find somewhere you can put code. But like I say I'm going to use the customizer today so we can actually see what we're doing. Once you've got the customizer up, go down to the additional CSS at the bottom, and this is where we can write our code. It's always a good idea to give your code a title, especially if you write a lot of it like I do. And also, if somebody else comes to the site to edit it after you, it's a courtesy to have notes up here. And to put a title in or notes in, it's forward slash star star forward slash. Anything that you write in between the two stars will not be read as code. So I'm going to call this icon spin. Okay, the first thing we need to do is figure out what class this icon's actually got. I know we gave the whole thing icon spin, but this particular part of the blurb has a class of its own. If I right click and inspect, I'm using Google Chrome browser here. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. It's highlighted this. That will probably work, but I think what we really want is the main blurb image right there. As you can see, there's no gaps either side. So I'm going to copy this class. As you can see, it's got it highlighted up there when I hover over it. By double left clicking, it'll highlight it for me. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to close my inspector now. And we gave our blurb image a class of i spin or icon spin i c spin i c s p i n so we want to affect that class and we want to affect this class in between it that we just copied remember it's a class name so we have to put a dot or a period in front of it now we can open and close some curly brackets and decide what we want to do and what i actually want to do with this is create an animation. So I'm going to say animation and we'll give it a name. I'm going to call it icon spin and I, I'm going to make it rotate but I want it to take about four seconds so it's nice and slow so I'm going to say 4s for four seconds and I want it to keep doing it. I want it to be infinite so I'm going to say infinite Okay, and let's put a semicolon in front of there. Now what we've got to do is write the actual code to animate it. Okay, and to do that, we've got to create some keyframes for it. 
So I'm going to drop down. I'm going to say at keyframes. And we'll create the keyframes. Got to give it a name. And we called it icon spin at the top here. Icon spin. So I'm going to call it. I'm going to put a hyphen in between. So it's all one word there. Icon spin. Let's make sure we've got one here. Or else it won't work. If everything isn't correct with coding, it won't work. So I'm going to say keyframes icon spin. Open and close some curly brackets. And in between, we can do percentages of how we want it to rotate. So I'm going to say at 0%. I'm going to open and close some more curly brackets. In between, I'm going to tell it to transform, rotate. Now I want mine spinning around the Y axis, but if you want yours spinning the other way, you can put it around the X axis. So I'm going to spend, say rotate Y, and the amount of degrees you want it to rotate in some round brackets. So let's open some round brackets, and I'm going to say zero degrees, because it wants to start off right at the beginning there. Now I'm going to copy this. And you can do this as many or as few times as you like. The more times you do it, the smoother it's going to look. I'm going to say 25%. And this I'm going to say 90 degrees. And what we're going to do is actually roll around in stages. And you can see it's actually got a little turn already down here. It's already starting to twist. And the only thing with that is it's twisting the same way each time. If you notice the little red, the little dot in the eye right there, it's always on the left. So it's not spinning all the way around. You could leave it there if you wanted to. But I'm going to have mine flip all the way around by copying this another two times. And don't forget this code will be down below the video for anybody that needs to use it. And this will work for any site. Uh, it doesn't have to be the Divi site. You just have to find the actual class name of whatever it is you're trying to spin with it. So that's going to be 180 and 75 it's going to be 270 now it's actually spinning all the way around there and it's flipping a bit at the end there because it's got to catch up let's do the 100% at 360 I'm just copying that again. Do 100%. We'll do this at 360. And there we go. It's sort of spinning around and around. Like I say, you can have it the other way completely, or you can mix and match and get some strange effects if you want it to be X. I leave one Y in there, you'll see it flips the other way on the last one. You can have it going that way if you prefer. Let's put a Y in there. And you see it'll flip that way during that particular sequence of it. So you can play and get what you want done. Let's get all this all back to Y's again. I'm just going to undo. There we go. And we should be good to go. Obviously, if you want it to be quicker, speed it up by putting one second. If you want it to be slower, put a longer time up here. I think I'm quite happy with my four seconds, though. Let's publish our page here. and go back to our regular page. I want to make sure before you put any of that code in you've actually saved this page so that class name has taken. But we're good to go here. So let's exit the Visual Builder. Roll on down and there's our little spinning icon. And of course any time that you create a new thing and you want the icon to spin on it, you can just give it that class. I've got a couple of icons down here. Let's give the class to one of these. I think I've got some other hover effect going on on these as well. But let's, yeah, let's go down. 
Here we are, let's do this one, I guess. And all I need to do for this is give it that same class, CSS class. It was icon spin, wasn't it? And as you can see, that icon's now spinning around. So there you go, guys. There's how to create an infinitely spinning icon with a bit of CSS. Nice little effect to have on your site, really easy to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.